Hi everyone, my name's Richie Ho. I just want to share a project that I'm working on with you. Maybe get a bit of feedback, that would be great. Um, what it is, it's an application that I'm writing, or it's a, it's a pair of applications that work together to take images from off the web and turn them into sounds with a modular synth. So you may have seen a couple of things I've worked on five years or so ago that, that did similar things, but this is kind of, well, it's, it's, it's moving on from that. So what we got here, here we are, 42 HP module. Behind the scenes, there's a Raspberry Pi computer, and there's also an Arduino Uno. Um, displays, the main display in the middle is being output by the Raspberry Pi, and the smaller display here is being output by the Arduino. What you see on the screen at the moment, the program's already started, it's retrieved every single image that it could find on the bbc.co.uk news homepage. Um, so, thought let's start with the cat one first, that's image 29 of 30. I can scroll to the next image by clicking on the screen. There's the 30 first one. So, oh, let's find a decent picture. Who's this guy? No idea. Anyway, Brooks Newman. What you can see on the screen is a cursor going across the top. It's on the top row at the moment. It's now on the second row. As it moves across, it works out an averaged value of the color of the pixels underneath it um, and shows it in the top screen there. You can see the, the five boxes. They show the color itself, the brightness level between black and white, the red level between black and white, green and the blue levels. That's for every image. And as it calculates each one, it squirts it off down this wire here. Let's follow it around. And back up again, where it goes into the Arduino. It's actually a serial link, uh, it's sending the brightness and the red pixel data down. Every time a bit of data is received by the Arduino, it flashes that green LED there to say it's done it, and it displays the value values on the screen. At the same time, the Arduino is powering a couple of DACs uh, over here, and it's, uh, it's showing the signal level on the LEDs, and it's also firing the control voltage out of these two wires here. So the one on the left is the brightness of the pixel between zero and four volts. And the one on the right is the red component of the pixel from zero to four volts. So you follow these down. One of them is going, well, where are they going? First one is going into the oscilloscope down here. It's the red trace on the screen, which is then going to the quantizer down on the bottom to make it sound nice, and back out to the braids, one volt per octave. The second uh, CV coming out from the top from the red component is going into the mass where it's having a bit of slew applied and it's the green trace on the screen there. You can see that. Now the, the final destination of that one is the uh, timbre control on the braids. So it changes the sound. One changes the pitch, the other changes the timbre. What else have we got going on in here? Every time the quantizer finds a new note, in other words, every time it gets a new value from up here, it, no, not every time it gets a new, yeah, every time it gets a new value. So if you get a bunch of pixels the same color next to each other, they won't all trigger one after another. You'll just get one trigger for that block of pixels. So that's what the quantizer does. Uh, anything else? There's a bit of verb on the end before it comes out down the bottom. So without further ado, let's find a good picture. Uh, Oh, I've just gone past the one I wanted. Some pictures sound better than others. So forget the cat for the minute. This one. So let's, I can click on the image any place I want to move the cursor around. I don't know if you can actually see any of this. It's really hard to tell. But let's try that again. So you can see I can move the, pix, move the cursor around and the output values follow it. So I'm going to start right at the top. No, I'm not going to start there, so it runs. Ah, oh, crap skis. Just one second. There we go. I'm going to start at the bottom so that it'll run nicely on by the time I've got the knob to turn the volume up. So I'm just going to wait for it to go across the bottom. Amuse yourselves for five seconds. Right, let's bring it in. So bright areas on the screen are giving you high notes, darker areas are giving you low notes. Let's 
watch this go. Very busy area of the screen at the moment, so you get lots of nice variations. Thank you for watching.